little video update. Um, there's my view a bit. And uh, I haven't really given me anything to do. Um, so I figured out how to get some uh, soapy water and cloths in a basin and just kind of wash myself with my, you know, what appear to be very gaunt legs. Um, and uh, so they've upgraded my diet from, I think, I forget what it's called, clear liquid or certain clear liquids or limited clear liquid, whatever it was. Um, and uh, uh, now I'm on like a full liquid diet with the expectation that um, like I'm on this, uh, what they call a TPN, which I guess is probably what you can see there, but it's basically the full nutrition that I need. Um, of course, they can't have me on that forever, but it's IV, bypasses the stomach, and therefore the colon, um, which doesn't get a whole lot of practice doing stuff. Um, so I guess the idea is you, you slowly ramp me down on the, the, the IV nutrition and slowly ramp me up, you know, towards a, I, I, the way I described it to the doctor is that I think the idea is that I'm heading toward a salad, that's the idea, and he agreed. And so it's stages. And the idea is to take those stages slowly, don't say, hey, I can have ice cream and then have six bowls of ice cream, but also really monitor yourself and of course I'm here in the, you know, ER, whatever it's called, the cancer ward, I don't know. Um, so they're monitoring too, to make sure that, okay, he started having broth and so how is he receiving it? Is he nauseous? Is it coming back up? Is it uh, hard to take, to get down? Uh, you know, certainly I'm monitoring things like through the spiritual level of it, <clears throat> of just the, the absolute joy. Um, and, um. So nobody's really given me any date, but that seems to be the basic plan uh, so far. So far, everybody thinks that I'm doing well, but you know, we do it in stages because you know you can backslide on any of those. Once I start backsliding in terms of vomiting or something, then things get real bad again. They're also still treating the infection which, so far as I know, they don't have um, nailed down in terms of culture, uh, which may not really matter, but it's certainly a point of curiosity. Um, I have no idea how much I might expose myself uh, on the camera here. Uh, I'm gonna um, switch. Um, them, but um, cloths, I suppose, and uh, circulate a bit of the warm soapy through them. Um, so the other part, of course, is I have a colostomy bag. And who knows for how long. Uh, it's permanent. Also, this could be temporary, but then there's other surgeries which are followed by per I just don't know. It doesn't matter. It is what it is. Um, and that's uh, over here, kind of uh, just above my hip, beside my navel. Um, anyway, I'm sure you guys don't want to see it now, so I'll leave it as it is. Um, but. For whatever reason, I can't explain it. But what I'm looking forward to is a, a, a chocolate frosty from Wendy's. Now I definitely know there are better um, uh, uh, milkshakes out there. You know, more thoughtful, more woke, more organic, uh, more, you know, locally sourced, more alternative ingredients. 
uh, more add-ons and more, you know, I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure somebody will say, there's a Shake Shack next door and they're, you know, whatever. I don't want anything complicated. One of the things I know about a um, milkshake here is it'll get delivered. So it, it gets melty. But a frosty starts very, very thick. So I thought, whatever the issue is with the delivery, it should arrive something like a milkshake, which is all I want. I just want a simple chocolate. That's it. And, you know, I might just have you know, two or three sips and I'm done. Oh, okay. That's fine. Uh, and I might finish the whole thing in one another. I don't know. I'm not going to think about it. But the, uh, the fellow of, um, let's call her the, the, uh, uh, the A1C fellow at Yale has told me three times now, whatever you want, have whatever you want. Don't think about the sugar. You're doing great. We're watching your sugars. The TV and the infection are throwing them off. Not you. Also, I know if you have a milkshake, you're not going to have five. Um, so she gave me, like, absolute permission three days in a row. Um, so... Again, I don't know what I'm exposing. Sorry, I've just been trying to clean myself. Hopefully we're okay. Um, so, switch that and try the uh, little leg. So anyway, I don't know why I'm coming home. I don't even know if I'm coming home or if, you know, things take a downturn or take too long or the insurance, you know, it depends on what the OT determines in their report in terms of how I can manage, you know, getting around, you know, things like getting dressed, I guess, um, and, uh, you know, doing my own bag uh, without help. Um, you know, they might say I need to go to a nursing home. They might need to say I go home, but with a visiting nurse. I don't know. Sorry to put the phone down. I needed uh, two hands to separate, I think. Um, so, so I've done this, I think, three times today. Um, more actively than now, because I'm trying to do a camera, but just trying to reach every part of my body with each hand and then go through this. Obviously, just um, a hygienic act, but for me it's really spiritual, so I've been working on that. And um, again, thank you to everybody for their donations, especially thanks to uh, Duran who came up with a wonderful donation plan of fitness, I think one-on-one -on -one practice training in which the proceeds go to me and Marlene Rye, uh, whose art is way better than this, you know, actual outdoors. Um, she came up with a plan to give away an original piece of art. I think I'm saying that right. Um, basically by raffle. So everybody that donates to me just lets her know. And I guess she counts it as a raffle ticket or something. Uh, so I like that. I'd like to do it with, if I can get help from somebody from one of my works, or maybe you know an artist or similar, can donate something sort of raffle style. Um, anyway, I think that's a whole update. Probably nope. My voice changes really fast. Oh no. I just put like a like a sixteenth of a teaspoon of water in my mouth. To hydrate the mucous membranes. And I'm sure it's immediately different to you. But it gets really difficult. I just have to keep doing that.
especially when there's medical staff and they, you know, certainly reasonably able to go back and forth. Um, so anyway, uh, it sounds like a couple more days here. I don't really know what's happening, but I'll just be here. And uh, if you want to visit, probably check in with Garrett or Sarah, just because uh, it's so limited with the visitation. We don't want somebody to come here from a distance and be turned away. So I think it's best to coordinate it. But having somebody hang out here for a while and, you know, massage me or share some poetry or chat or just be in the room together and all the hands. Uh, so good. So I'll try and share more. Uh, maybe again early morning I'll do a live stream video. We'll see how that goes. Um, and, uh, uh, maybe I'll post some of the poetry I wrote today. I can't really think of what else I need to say. Um, I love you. Maybe you can see some of the, uh, fuzzies. Uh, I don't know what's here, if it's stuff from home or gifts or, or I, just, I haven't seen what's what, I haven't, but at any rate, thank you, thank you, love.